Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Reseller TV with your host Josh here. My co-host today is Chef from South Park. He's a bolo to look out for. He sold for 110 on Etsy. So look out for him. He's from 1998, I believe. But yeah, especially the vintage South Park stuff, definitely pick it up if you come across it because it sells for good good amount, the older stuff. And even some of the newer stuff. I think I sold a, a, a newer plush. It was like 2007 for like 50 bucks just a couple weeks ago um fortunately yesterday this is all the stuff i sold yesterday uh i i had two days in a row of 900 dollars or more yesterday was only 750 which i'll take it hey any days i can get over shoot i'll take three to five hundred dollars would be fantastic so 750 not complaining um but yeah i was hoping to get like three days in a row of 900 dollars or more but anyways um bunch of random stuff as always <laughs> when you sell everything like i do uh this mirror uh this picture sorry it was from a storage unit twenty dollars another storage unit these abercrombie pants um uh, i believe fifteen dollars i don't really do well with jeans i don't know i think some people do really well but i don't i believe this is out of a uh loot crate i believe um twelve dollars on that uh 23 on uh etsy for super mario 3ds uh taz Wanted sold for 15 on eBay. High Times Magazine sold for 15 on Etsy. Uh, we have this uh, clock. I don't think. Oh, it needs a new battery. That's why I listed it lower. But it's a pretty cool little baseball clock for the Diamondbacks. Um, I think I sold it for like 12 or 13 bucks. Uh, 15. These are Nespresso replacement cups. Got them out of a storage unit. Uh, more storage unit stuff. These are uh, Princess House little glassware. Someone bought both of these for $50. Uh, $35 for this little horse. It's a 1970s Imperial. Imperial is a pretty good brand. I also have some more Imperial stuff that sold as well. That'll be coming up here in a minute. Uh, Shrek sold for over $15. Crusted Clown. This is like a Burger King, uh, thing, which usually those kind of stuff don't do very well, but this one sold for, <laughs> this one sold for over 15 as well. Uh, these guys sold for over 30, 30 to 35 on these. They're 1974 Adventure People Fisher Price, I believe is what they were. Uh, thirty, Almost $35 for old Princess Leia here, a Pez dispenser. I don't do great on Pez dispensers. Uh, this was $25, uh, also from a storage unit. So a bunch of storage unit stuff. I got this for a dollar, and it sold for 17 Skipper Vintage Glass. Um... I bought, a, like, what, 200 of these VHS. I've sold probably 50 of them so far. They $10 total for the whole lot that I paid. And someone bought 13 of these on Etsy for $50. All profit. Um, this was, I got this at St. Minnie's. This is a McDonald's train. Um, I sold the track by itself and the operating unit for $90. I think I bought the whole thing for 10 And then this sold for 50 50 and then I have four more cars to go to so this is 100% profit on that um, Here's some more Imperial these someone well, I put the, keep trying to keep these all together, but some by like 15 or 16 or something uh, Plastic dinosaurs and some other little toys, but 50 bucks on those total uh, Panasonic $34. It's uh, I sold the main unit from the Panasonic as well. I sold that for 120 I paid 20 for everything, and this sold for 35 so I'm at 150 on $20 in, and I still have four speakers left to sell from that <laughs> to add to that. And then a couple more storage unit finds. These sold for almost, or $200 for both, someone bought both of these for $200. So Fenton and Carnival Glass. 